Since the launch of its first season back in July of 2018, it didn't take long for The Outpost to become one of the most popular fantasy dramas in the history of The CW. But since season 5 is yet to be announced, fans might need a new fix. So join us as we look at some similar shows available to stream. Number 1. Into the Badlands since the outpost revolves around Talon, the last of the Black Bloods, we thought we'd start off this list with another impressive series that is viewed from the perspective of Sonny, another last of his kind. We are, of course, referring to the AMC original Into the Badlands, which follows the life of a lone warrior, as portrayed by the incredible Daniel Wu, who goes on to tutor a young man to become a survivor in the post-apocalyptic world that is controlled by barons and other dangerous characters. Characters. For those of you who appreciate a good anime and love to play open-world video games, Into the Badlands is most certainly the best option out there. The viewer is quickly introduced to our lone warrior, Sunny, who used to work for the various clans that controlled the different regions of the Badlands. But when the warrior comes across a young boy by the name of MK, who appears to be harboring a great secret, he decides to train him in the art of combat ensuring that he will survive whatever approaches him in the wild. What starts out as a simple job turns into a heartwarming journey of a stand-in father and son sprinkled with some mystery and ample action. In fact, we aren't ashamed to say that Into the Badlands has far more action than The Outpost ever did. And since Daniel Wu is a martial artist, who learned everything he knows from his younger days in Hong Kong, it's really no surprise that the fighting choreography is so pristine. That being said, expect less John Wick and more Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, as Into the Badlands follows the rules of these older martial arts titles by incorporating gravity-defying jumps and insane floating physics. As we mentioned earlier, it's definitely something that fans of anime will not want to miss out on. And with characters like the Widow, as portrayed by the beautiful Emily Beecham, Tilda is brought to life by the excitable Ali Lawanides, and Beiji, played by the hilarious Nick Frost, you'll never find yourself bored. And with a grand total of three seasons currently available to stream, Into the Badlands will most certainly take over your life until we hear some more information about season five of The Outpost. Number two, Siren. Speaking of fantastical shows, we just had to bring Siren to your attention, which is led by the incredible Aline Powell of King Arthur fame. For those of you who know next to nothing about this franchise, it revolves around a small coastal town by the name of Bristol Cove, which has a few pieces of mysterious lore attached to it. According to legend, the town used to be inhabited by sea folk, known as mermaids, who for some or other reason decided to vacate it and make a place for themselves in the ocean. And now that a new visitor has made the town her own, the other inhabitants begin to notice that there may be more truth to this legend than was originally thought. Spoiler alert, the new girl does actually appear to be a mermaid of the legends, but after falling in love with a marine biologist on land, she comes to discover that humans aren't as bad as the stories her ancestors told her. But since her brothers and sisters have none of the same experiences as her, she finds herself in the middle of an underground war. Will she side with the rest of her race and take over the town? Or will she be the girl that brings everyone together once and for all? This is the question that you'll be asking yourself throughout the current season three run of the franchise. And we guarantee that you won't be disappointed with what Siren has to offer. The relationship between the beautiful Wren, who is expertly brought to life by Aline Powell, and marine biologist Ben, as portrayed by Alex Rowe, is something to be marveled at. It really gives off the same vibe as the young, teen-like relationships we came to experience in The Outpost, filled with joy and romance that can apparently break a lifetime of manipulation from the higher-ups of the mermaid society. So if you're a fan of the supernatural and need a fix of some oceanic action, be sure to check out Siren as soon as possible. We doubt you'll be disappointed with what it brings you. Number three, The Last Kingdom. But if you're looking for a show that is more similar to The Outpost when it comes to time period, look no further than BBC Two's The Last Kingdom, which spans an impressive four seasons and tells the story of the age-old war between the Danes and Saxons of England 
For those of you who don't know, the Danes came down from their Nordic countries a few centuries ago and attempted to settle on the banks of England. But as it turns out, invading churches and other settlements for gold, food, and materials didn't rub the English kings ruling over the land very well. And so began a war that would last a couple of years between the defending, greedy kings of England and the combat-hungry Danes of the north. But the last kingdom doesn't revolve around this initial invasion. It actually kicks off a few years after the Danes had actually settled and acquired some kingdoms of their own. With England sufficiently divided up, the audience is introduced to Uhtred, a young Saxon successor who is captured by the Danes only to be incorporated into their forces. And now that war is on the horizon once more, questions start to circulate about the young man's allegiances with the other side. It's a show of heroic deeds, large-scale battles, and underhanded politics. Everything needed to make for an incredible story that combined fictional characters and events with realistic portrayals of what took place in the history books. So if you're a fan of the incorporation of real and fictional worlds and want to see some Vikings slashing villages to the ground, there's really no doubt that you'll enjoy The Last Kingdom while you wait for season five of The Outpost to arrive. It may be a bit gorier than any show that you're used to, but it's definitely worth the watch, especially with talented cast members like Alexander Draymond and Millie Brady around. Number 4. Titans Although not exactly a teen drama by definition, fans of The Outpost are aware that the show gives off the same vibe as other CW franchises like The Flash and Arrow. While it doesn't exactly center around a teenager finding his or her place in the world, there is always a romantic angle with other concepts, such as friendship and personal growth being incorporated into the plot. So if this is your type of show that you've come to love over the years, we think you'll appreciate the next option on our list. We are, of course, referring to Titans, which was released back in 2018 and introduced the world to the real-life portrayals of the Teen Titans, a group of young superheroes that are asked to save the world more than just a few times. But the show isn't just about these heroes saving the world. It's more about friendship and self-acceptance, two things we saw a lot of when it came to the runtime of The Outpost. It must also be said that fans of the DC Universe will find themselves in love with the show as it introduced the audience to characters such as Dick Grayson, Starfire, Raven, Beast Boy, and of course, Wonder Girl. In other words, think of a show where all the superhero sidekicks have gotten together after growing tired of playing second fiddle, only to discover that it's by working together that they can really make a difference. Number 5. The Witcher The next franchise on our list is one that has spawned from a number of books and video games, reaching critical acclaim before Netflix finally acquired the rights to make an original of its own. And it doesn't take a genius to figure out that we're talking about The Witcher, which revolves around the life of Geralt of Rivia, as portrayed by the brilliant Henry Cavill. For those of you who don't know, Geralt is a witcher, a race of supernatural monster slayers that go after creatures of the night for coins. As such, he is hated and feared by those around him, even though he does his best to ensure that the world is safer than he found it. And since Henry Cavill has always been a super fan of the franchise, it must be said that he brings the character of Geralt to life in more ways than one. The same can be said about Anya Shalotra, who plays the role of Yennefer, with the perfect amount of grace and mystique. Suffice to say, you'll find your fair share of monsters in the universe of The Witcher, with its first and only season being used to introduce viewers to a plot that is about to be expanded in the upcoming second season. And since this newest installment is set to be released in December, there's no better time than now to toss a coin to your Witcher. Number 6. The 100 Last but not least, we have another CW show by the name of The 100, which is far more science fiction than it is super natural. That being said, it's great at maintaining a certain amount of high fantasy in a setting such as this by introducing viewers to a colony of humans who, after floating in space for years, finally comes back to Earth. As such, you get a real Middle Ages vibe that is similar to what The Outpost brought us. You'll also discover a number of mysteries, each greater than the last. 
Suffice to say, The 100 is a quintessential CW show, so if you like The Outpost, you'll most certainly fall in love with its ragtag group of characters. And since it ran for a grand total of seven seasons, there's no doubt that you'll be entertained for quite some time. But what do you think of these similar shows? Be sure to let us know in the comments section down below.